game over the last six games. Cliff Moore driving inside the hook off the mark, and here comes Jaden Ivey, electric in the open floor, end to end, count the bucket, he'll go to the line for one more. He right down Main Street, gets the rebound, surveying the floor, maneuvering, excellent footwork. Got to bounce back from a tough performance against Northwestern. Ball movement, man movement. Ivy has his pocket picked. The Big Ten steals. Yeah, the Glacier, the Space Eater. There he is on the other end with a two-hand flush. Ivy off the Rutgers miss. Gillis open again. Gillis connects again. Uh, sharing the basketball, purposeful with their use of the dribble, tied together. And another three falls, this one from Isaiah Thompson. In play. Well, Purdue the number one offense in terms of efficiency in the country. And we're seeing it on display, getting the ball from one side of the floor to the other, probing, exploring, looking for the high percentage look. Here's Williams down low. Four on the shot clock, muscles it over the front of the rim. Williams with seven. He took it away. Back to Stefanovic, who finds Jaden Ivey. That three off the heel and the rebound tip. 18 4 Rutgers run. See if Ivey can get things going. Just two points so far. Inside, he's fouled. And Jaden Ivey. The country at coverages from game to game, they have their. Is how they're going to cover opposing teams' personnel. There's variations from game to game. A weak side cut along the baseline by Harper. That's a tandem. And I like the dance. And here comes McConnell with another steal ball. And that allowed Harper along that baseline to creep and get a basket. Jaden Ivey, nobody faster with a ball in his hands, end to end in college basketball. Staying under control and maneuvering his speed where he doesn't run, he's in a go. He's also improved his three point shot, which has forced opponents to honor. There are opportunities to make a call like that. Uh, oh, nice. Exploding off the bounce and gets to the rim for the hammer. Well, Purdue lifts Rutgers' defense, and we talked about foot races, and Jaden Ivey just turns. Foul on McConnell. That was an explosion, and now a three-point play. Ivy up the floor, McConnell trying to take it away, in the corner, three, up and off, rebound loose, and a foul. It'll be on Purdue underneath. What a frenetic pace. And a technical foul right there for Amori. He gets called for the technical, and then Amori got his second on the technical. And Ivy shooting the shots. Allow the emotions to get the best of you. It can cost you. Purdue wisely gets organized. Ivy turning the corner. The scoop won't go, but he draws the contact. On McConnell, that's important early in the second half. We've talked about his defensive prowess. Factor for Coach Peichel. Purdue deficit. Ivy will launch from deep, in and out. That's the one area of this game that is... Ivy around the screen from Edie. Elbow jumper, a little strong. And the rebound, Karam's off of Mori. But also, defensively, the sense of urgency, the energy the Boilers have brought to that side of the ball. And how about the maneuvering? It's third. Well, Ivy turning the corner, the body control. That's where the acrobatic can get it by Rutgers. And it comes to Ivy, the creator, steps back for three, and the rebound McConnell. Williams backing down. Ivy open three, short, and a rebound controlled by Williams. Long pass ahead, Ivy in the open floor with a two-hand flush. Play over the top. And Reaver says, anything you can do, I can do better. Williams. Playing quarterback, airing it out. Just enough air under the ball to get it to Ivy. Who right on top of him, gets a screen from Reber. Geo Baker's three, dies back iron. Ivy trying to split. Kept the dribble through the stumble, and then throws it back out and throws it away. 
And we've got a whistle and a foul is going to be called. Laying on that pass. We look at Ivy try and squirrel, split defenders, jump in the air, deflection. Columbus, big win for the Hawkeyes who are trying to make the field. Yeah, Keegan yeah, Murray. Foul. Keegan Murray is outstanding. Two bigs that we've watched here at Purdue, Amori for Rutgers. But you look around this league and you're in some stars that we didn't see at the beginning of the season. Yeah, and even if it's post players, perimeter players, going back inside, finishing with that high percentage look. Wow. And Mulcahy count the bucket. Wow, the time's starting to become a factor. You want to get it under 10 the next time out. Harper fouled. Not going to have a three-point play opportunity. And Ivy down. Mm -hmm. Crowds aren't mm -hmm. rolling. Replay. That's natural. Matthew Arena, what do you expect? And the opponents. Here's Ivy. Looking like he's going to work. Picked up by Mag. Ivy going around Mag. In the air. He'll go to the line for two. His catches. He carves out such good space that he just catches. For the tenth time this year. The three won't go. Gillis skying for his fifth rebound. Ivy picks it up. A lot of red in front. Bumped by McConnell. His night is done. Caleb McConnell trying to time his sit down. Then sat down knowing the crowd would say sit down as they counted off his steps to the bench. Dishes uh, in those lobs. Uh, nothing wrong with long passes, uh, the idea. One more free throw for Ivy. And Ivy two for two. It has been their house. Dominant again. And a highlight to finish. Williams behind the back to Jaden. An 84-72 win over the Scarlet Knights of Rutgers.